Hello everybody and welcome to this week's vlog. Probably another week of gobshite reaboard Hannah the Narrowboat. It's been quite an eventful week actually. I've been out on Derek's boat because we had to get some work done on that. And the Jane ran away from me. Um, it was Lee's birthday. Lee got a loom and a few other weird things happened this week. But it's been a good week to be honest with you. It's been quite fun. Um, so that's a good thing. But before we get on to the vlog, I have actually got um, a question for you. A quandary one may say. These vlogs now seem to be going on for well over half an hour, you know, getting 35 to 40 minutes now. So because we're doing a full week in one vlog. And uh, I know it's hard to sit down for a whole half an hour or 40 minutes to watch one episode. So um, I'm wondering if we should start splitting this into two or just make a shorter vlog. Keep it at one a week. Um, maybe keep it down to 20 minutes. Or do two and keep them 15, 20 minutes each. Or just keep to the 30 minutes. I don't know really, but I look at the stats on YouTube. And I can see that people's interest drops off at about 20, 25 minutes. Because they obviously get bored with my nonsense by then. So maybe if I give them two doses of my nonsense a week, <laughs> that might be better. Seriously though, guys, tell us what you think below. Should we do a couple of vlogs a week or should we just stick to the one long one? Or should we just do a much shorter vlog in any case? Let us know. Cheers. Let's get into it then, shall we? Today, I had some right shenanigans this morning. I got up, went for a wee as I normally do, you know, and I went to wash my hands, opened the tap, and nothing, not a sound. But oh, here we go again, another dodgy water pump. Oh, so I went into the kitchen uh, to check the taps in there. No, absolutely no noise, nothing from the water pump at all. So oh, sat down and pondered for a few minutes. But right, I'm going to start the engine because you never know, it might be frozen. Because I'll tell you what, the canal is the most frozen I've seen it here for years. It really is. It's proper glass thick, you know, it's like this. Threw a stone on it just to, when I took Hector for a walk just to see, you know, if it was breakable. No, it's not. So I thought, uh, maybe a frozen pump. Never had that before. So I started the boat, as you can probably hear. We've got a, a big old Leicester SR3 lump in there. So she started fine, bit of smoke as normal. And uh, 10 minutes later, the pump works. Thank goodness for that, so I can wash my hands now after having a wee. Here's an amazing top tip. Are you ready for a top tip that involves one of these and several of these? Right, you know how it is. You buy these bulk sizes of um, limes or lemons in a pack. And uh, you never use them all, and a couple of them may go to waste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all these up as quick as I can. Try not to make too much of a mess. And I'll get back to you once I've cut them. This is a top tip, by the way. I don't like that one. It's a bit weird. Right then, now we have them all cut, we're going to lay them all out in a bag like this. So they're separated. Oops, that one's still got a bit together. So I'll put these all back in and then we'll go to the next stage. And take the air out of the bag as much as you can and seal it. These things can be blooming hard to seal sometimes. There we go. And now what you can do, if you just fold it over like that. And then the next thing we're gonna do is so simple and so easy it's quite unbelievable. I'm just going to move these out for a moment. Hide those over there. This is the ice box out of our freezer. 
So I'm simply going to put these in there like that. And those are going to freeze, obviously. And then you can use them in your cold drinks. So it acts like ice. So it cools your drinks down. So plenty of gin and tonics. And here's some we prepared earlier. So obviously once they're frozen, there's some nice frozen lemons. So they can go back in on top. And we also have some frozen cucumbers for our gin and tonics. And it's as simple as that. It is a real top tip, I'm telling you. It's changed my life. It's stuck. Oh, we can feel it all cracking against our boat. What, all together? No, just leave it there for now. I've been calls that an electrical problem somewhere, so... Another electrical problem? <laughs> <laughs> he did say they were stopping for tea as well. Uh. <laughs> so. What's time? Is it tea time? Oh, 10 o'clock. It's obviously tea time. I've got my Sunday best hat on. Because it's Sunday. I'm sure you know that because I've already put a title on the bottom, haven't I? Well, they've destroyed the ice on the marina, which is a shame. It looked really pretty when it was icy. But they obviously need to get some of the higher boats in and out of the main marina. So that's why they were doing that. It's good for their blacking. <laughs> Mind you, it's free for them, I suppose. Right, I'm off to go and start a boat's engine. How exciting! Woohoo! We're gonna get Jane on video. <laughs> About time! <laughs> Get her! She's determined not to get on video, isn't she? Oh yeah. Yeah, I just saw her coming down and she said, that's sod. Quite pretty. Right, back to Hannah. We got it started in the end. Well, we almost got Jane on video. <laughs> Well, we did kind of get her on video, running away. <laughs> She's a bugger. I'll get her in the end, I'll tell you. She didn't want us getting her in her Sunday clothes. Her dog walking clothes. She wants to look glamorous for the camera. A bit like myself. In my Sunday cap. Ah, oh, look what Lee made me. You can't be a bit of crumpet on Valentine's Day, I say. You like having your belly rubbed, don't you, Hector? Uh, you like having your belly rubbed. What have you got there, Hector? Hey, what's that that you've got? Have you got a card, Hector? Have you got a Valentine's Day card, Hector? Have you? Should we have a little read of it and see what it says? Hey, you got a new admirer? Oh, I say. So, Hector, what does it say? It says, for my Valentine, Hector. Happy Valentine's Day to a right mighty hound, Hector. A right mighty hound, I say. And what's it say inside? It says, 
Hector. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'd share my last bonio with you. You're my favourite YouTube star. Hector, be my valentine. Love from your number one fan, Hattie. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Well, what do you think of that, Hector, eh? Mmm. Oh. <laughs> and it's a big time boat vlog fan and part time dog, a uh, boat dog on board, narrowboat Agincourt. Honestly, thank you so much for that. That's, that's taken a lot of thought and that, that's such a lovely thing to do. These things really cheer us up. And Hector loves it, don't you, Hector? Eh? Again, seriously, thank you so, so much. Ooh, look at this. It's Valentine's Day, Lee, isn't it? <laughs> Lee? It's Valentine's Day, yes. It's steak and a beer day, isn't it? <laughs> that was rude. Next month. Oh, is it? What's oh. special about next month then? No. This is your birthday on Thursday. It is. Woohoo! <laughs> We're going to go down the pub and everything. Oh, yeah. Go out for a meal, yeah. celebrate big time, yeah. have all our friends around. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so excited about having a ribeye steak. Bye. <laughs> bye. Say bye, Lee. Bye, Lee. Bye, Lee. <laughs> bye, Lee. What? Hurry up! I want to eat my dinner. Lee, you're getting your loom soon as well. So exciting. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. It's actually quite a nice day, and I've actually got something quite exciting to do. We're going to take a boat around to the junction um, because there's a what do you call it? A boat repair shop there. We're going on to snug one. You may remember Lisa and Derek. They haven't driven their boat before. So I'm going to go and help them. So this might be a bit funny. And there goes Lee in the car. Bye. So it could be a matter of bumper cars or bumper boats. But it'd be a bit fun, wouldn't it? Hey, as you get out on the cut. Goodness me. First time for a year. Or maybe a little bit more. The question is, is he nervous? <laughs> Good morning, Trouble. Morning. Are you excited? Uh, apprehensive. Apprehensive, slight, I say. With a slight tweak of, uh, yeah, tickly bits. <laughs> <laughs> right, just so long as you don't crash into the um, cream boat over there, we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to try and sink that as we go by. Oh. So I've got our cannons at the ready. Oh, look, he's trying to do a loop. You do know you started that completely the wrong way, <laughs> <Yeah>. don't you? <laughs> <laughs> what a cock. She's a rope. Oh, dear. Here we go, Derek. So exciting. You need to get it back to the middle. Press the button. Don't worry.
cup of tea I think. Let's go and see if Hector the Hound is okay because he's been left on his own. I'm just singing to say, I'm just singing to say nothing matters while we chug away. We're chugging along. We're chugging along. I'm singing my song. See if we can uh, sneak the camera in without Hector knowing because he's going to be really excited to see me. Well I would have hoped so of course. It might not be. You might think, oh, a bit of self time. So let's have a look, see where he is. Hello, Hector. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> oh, Hector. <laughs> Hello, mate. Have you missed me? Have you missed me? Oh, don't bite me, you weirdo. What's with the biting, eh? Hey? You excited? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I know, I know. We've been gone so long. We've been gone so long. Lee? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. What's this? It's my loom. Ow. Are you in, Lee? I'm in. Hector, are you excited about Mummy's new loom? <laughs> you look thoroughly enthused about the matter, one would say. Lee, yes. you're looking very studious. <laughs> I'm trying to work it out. I was expecting a scarf by now. <laughs> you might be waiting a while. Oh. Manage that bit, <laughs> getting it out of the box. been therapeuticalized. <laughs> I think so. Not... Good, I'm very pleased for you. Well, I think I may have been one peg over. So. Peggy Lee. <laughs> a little bit of a joke there for you on a Monday evening. Lee, yes. before we go to bed, yes. would you like to show off your work of art <laughs> to the masses out there on YouTube? <laughs> What is it? It's um, a bath. It's a mat, a rug for a doll's house. Oh, splendid, I say. <laughs> I just thunk up that idea. Just 
in that second. Well, I think you saved face very well there. <laughs> I've just got to thread in my ends to tidy them up. And then, uh... Is that then going to go in your special box? <laughs> should go in your special box. I didn't make it. Of weirdness. No, yeah, but of weirdness is of mine. Hmm. She kept a fag packet of mine from 1937. <laughs> 1937. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Nighty night, everybody. Nighty -night. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> it's Tuesday, and I'm going back to see Derek and Lisa aboard Snug One to bring the boat home. This is going to be a bit of fun. It's not as nice a day today, I have to say. Bit windier, <laughs> so this will be fun. Got to turn the boat round and then get it into the marina and back into his spot. <laughs> Shall we see how he gets on? That's gonna be quite fun. Bye, Derek. You turned round all right, didn't you? I did, yeah. Not a bump, not a lump. Brilliant. I I'm tell you, born natural. <laughs> the alcohol <laughs> helps. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see you reverse into your spot. Oh, That's gonna be fun. Don't. This is a bit I've been really. Properly, uh, not looking forward to. The always done in coming out of the marina is the battle. Probably is, yeah. The wind always yeah. blows that way. That's right. So the wind helps blow the stone round and you're facing the right direction. From out the house. Lee, yes. why are we standing in the car park in the dark with the beer? I'm waiting for the pancake race. We look like weirdos standing here. There's no one here, it's just us. We're the only ones so far. Bye. Bye. Andrew, can you guess? What just happened? <laughs> I don't know. We um, chatted. We were having a stars. party and the party person has never turned up. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on. I don't know, but I made this hat. <laughs> Do you remember when we were going to have pancakes tonight? <laughs> yes. I haven't even got my batter ready. <laughs> That's all too much. I actually really and honestly don't know what to say. Hmm. We could go, bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> oh. Hello. But Lee, yes. what actually did just happen? Can you explain? We went for the pancake race. A socially distanced pancake race. Socially distanced pancake race. Um, said hello through the window. And um, then we went and stood at the car park, chatting and waiting for the others to come. And then three more people arrived. And then and we were still there an hour later <laughs> chatting. <laughs> the pancakes didn't arrive. The people who organised it <laughs> didn't arrive. <laughs> we came home. <laughs> it's very bizarre. It was quite surreal, wasn't it, Lee? <laughs> so, to recap, <laughs> because I'm not sure we explained that very well, we were just having a pancake race night tonight where Dad's going to race with pancakes. I wasn't going to race, let's be fair, because I don't do running. <laughs> and uh, everyone on the marina said, yeah, or a lot of them on the marina said, yeah, we'll go and do that. So the people who arranged it, we went outside their boat, top car, a bottom car park, and we awaited their arrival. They saw us come past, and they waved at us through the window, and then closed the <laughs> curtains. And then we all just stood there waiting for quite a long time, for perhaps an hour. And no one turned, so we never had any pancakes, we never did any racing, which I'm not really too upset about, to be fair, because I don't, like I say, I don't do running. Uh, and uh, we ended up back on the Hannah the Narrowboat, didn't we, Lee? <laughs> so I don't actually know what to say. But it was quite eventful in any in any event. <laughs> I think we'll arrange an, uh, an event soon, Lee, and not turn up. <laughs> we were only a few minutes late because it was hammering down with rain. We weren't minutes late, we were early. Early. We were okay. It's seven. It, we were supposed to be there at six, mm -hmm. and it was six o four. That's what I'm saying. It was only a few minutes late, but it was hammering it down till five to six. So, 
but then yeah it's not like we were like an hour late <laughs> i don't even know what to say well, you, we had a way for it we had a way we had a way for a curtain and then a closed <laughs> curtains and then left yeah, out the weakest link goodbye <laughs> we almost died through pancake hunger and i you know i was so up for a little run tonight <laughs> And it just didn't happen. I feel, I, I, don't, I just feel quite devastated about the matter, to be fair. It's just all too much. Come on, out the way. I want to go to bed. Is that because you're so depressed about not having a pancake, Rosalie? No. Oh. Bye. Bye. Lee, what? have you ever got up at after 10 o'clock in the morning before? Yeah. How did he get up there? You lifted him up. Uh, he obviously doesn't want to get up. Come on. Come on. No, don't look at me. Come on, it's time to go. You're a sod. Lee, do you like me little pink light? I can't work out how to get it on white. <laughs> I'm using a different... Like, well, I do feel a little bit hungover, to be fair. Oh, I think, oh, mm. oh. Good morning, campers. It's Wednesday morning. It's about 10.45 now, I think. It's a nice day out here today. A little bit breezy. But it's actually quite lovely. I've been out already and tried to do a bit of recording. But I had um, something going on with the cameras. I think when it firmware updated, it did something weird with the microphones and turned all this wind reduction on. It stops you hearing me. I know that's total nonsense to you lot, but I just thought I'd come out and try it again. I cleaned up the rubbish out here. I was a little bit naughty last night. I had a couple of beers. I said I had a bit of hangover. But of course, I was just putting the beer outside the cratch, the cans outside the cratch. So it wasn't a good look this morning when there's a few cans sitting outside the boat. So I got up early, got rid of those. Wouldn't want to give a bad impression, would we now? <laughs> Please out with Hector. So while she's gone, I'm making her a nice cup of tea. Still cracks me up that mug. <laughs> we just had a text from Lee, and apparently the lovely boat called Bison here, and it is really a beautiful boat, has sunk. I don't know what's going on this year with all these sinkings. Goodness me, what a shame. Teachers for being naughty. Lee just told me off for claiming that she's got a hangover. No, I've got a backache. <laughs> Is that because you drunk too much beer? No, it's because I was painting yesterday. Oh, painting? Painting. <laughs> Hector seems to have my seat again. You're a mighty hound, aren't you, Hector? Bye. Why are you laughing again? Because I ran down there hoping that you'd record the dinner while, while I wasn't in it. <laughs> Lee's made us some ghouls gash or some goulash, haven't you, Lee? Yes. From the German cookbook. Oh, it's very exciting. Although I have got that those colours on my plate again, <laughs> so I'm not sure about that. I'm so excited. This is going to be rather pleasant. I hope, I hope so. Goodness me, listen to that rain. I don't think I'm going to be going out there in a hurry. Poor old Hector's going to have to cross his legs. Good job he had an early morning walk before this started. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lee. Happy birthday to you. Beautiful. I thought so. Lee, you're 57. No, I'm not, you oh. bugger. How old are you? <laughs> 51. Oh, 51. I remember when you were just and a I'm... little girl of about eight running around <laughs> Lale Drive playing Kiss Chase. Yes, where did I go from? 
You used to have long blonde hair, Lee. What happened? <laughs> Princess Diana came along and that's what happened. Ah. <laughs> Hello, Hector. As you can see, Lee's not here. These are all our cards. Such lovely people. She's been putting someone else first today rather than her birthday. But she might tell you about that when she gets back. But I have laid the table ready for a Chinese. So at least we can have a couple of hours together this evening with some wine, some beer and a lovely Chinese. I'm looking forward to her coming home. Lee, yes. have you had a lovely birthday so far? I haven't seen you. Well, it's been different. <laughs> what happened? Well, I took one of my little old dears to hospital. She had to have eye surgery today. So, so I went to Dunstable to pick her up, then took her to Milton Keynes to hospital. Then I met Emma and Connor in the car park for lunch. That's our <laughs> daughter and our um, grandson. <laughs> So yeah, we had um, McDonald's sitting in the car. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> we were going to go somewhere else, but there was nowhere open and it was just difficult. And so we just said, oh, we'll just have that. And the burger was more Connor friendly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I came home to wait for a phone call from the hospital. Because she didn't go in at 11.30 and ever, I think. Because you just stood around in uh, Milton Keynes hoping she'd have her operation quick, didn't you? Well, yeah. But, uh, so... Um, but yeah, I rang the hospital at half two and they said she hasn't even gone down yet. <laughs> so I came back home, sat here uh, for a couple of hours, then went back to pick her up and take her home. So I settled her down with a cup of tea and a shredded wheat. Because <laughs> she didn't fancy any dinner. She's probably done about a hundred and odd miles today, haven't you? I don't know. Yeah, probably. Goodness me. Oh, well, at least you can have a nice Chinese now, yes. darling, a nice glass of wine and we'll Netflix and chill. Indeed. And a beer from the Chinese, the oh, yeah. Chinese lady. She didn't say hello or anything when she answered the phone. She said, I didn't expect a phone call from you today. <laughs> and I said, it's my birthday. <laughs> That's why we're coming today. <laughs> so they give us a couple of bottles of free beer, didn't they, Lee? Yes. She beer that I out... like and Lee doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> she did come out with a bottle of Coke and then said, uh... well, I said, oh, thank you very much. And then she said, oh, sorry, I don't sell beer. Then she went, oh, hold on. You may be in luck. <laughs> so she rummaged around <laughs> and said, oh, we've got a couple of bottles left from Chinese New Year. So Splendid. That was very nice of her. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> dilly dilly, I say. Dilly. And happy birthday, Lee Lawson. Thank you. It's a shame we didn't have a million pound to spend on you this year. <laughs> shame we're not down the pub. <laughs> but there you go. But there you go. Bye. Bye. Happy Fridays, everyone. I can't believe the week's gone already. Just having a little bit of a clean up today. Um, I'm doing a bit of dusting and all that sort of stuff, cleaning up the mess. Um, it's quite hard to board a, a 45 foot narrowboat. You know, I've only got a little one. Um, you put a bag down here and a bit of rubbish down there. And before you know it, the whole place is trashed. So um, I think we're going to make it smell a bit nicer in here now. And I uh, put a joystick on, one of them there joystick things. So don't worry, the boat's not on fire. It's just one of them there things that make it smell nice. See you in a bit. Oh, I think we'll try one of these Hello Vera ones. See what that smells like, shall we? Hmm, very interesting. We've got quite a few of these. Lee doesn't like them, but I do. I like nice smelling things. Strange how I like Lee then, isn't it? Meh. <laughs> there we are then. The boat will smell all lovely again in a minute. It's better blow it out. And don't forget, children, don't leave these unattended. Health and safety announcement by Paulus, the wood gnome. Do you remember last week when we was talking about me doing the coal and using Lee's scissors and then always leaving them outside? Well, Lee bought me some of my own scissors. And have a guess what? I left them outside. <laughs> what a gobshite. They're soaking now, better dry them. Lee, yeah. have a guess what? It's Friday night and we're not having Chinese. Yes, no, yes, no. Yes or no. What are we having then? Going fiery, going curry. Oh, say, it sounds rather exciting. It smells beautiful. 
She's a proper little chef, isn't she, Lee? Spices and the chilies in there so far. Ooh. Cutting the chicken. Lee, it's the end of another week. Oh, bomb. Did you say a naughty word then? I said bomb. Well, it's not a clean word, is it? <laughs> My bum's not clean. I pumped. Lee, <laughs> yes. I think that's the end of another vlog, do you? It's been another week of madness aboard Hannah the Narrowboat. It's been all too much, you say. <laughs> So how's the week been for you, my lovely person? <laughs> I've had a lovely week, thank you. I've had lots of cake, <laughs> so it's always a good week. Oh, and I haven't had to put up with your irritation for a lot of it because I've not been here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, I think that's a bit harsh, don't you guys? Anyway, I'd like to um, just say thank you to a few people. We have so many lovely, lovely comments on our YouTube channel. And uh, I mean, the elf, uh, was it elf focus? <laughs> no, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that really bad? <laughs> Lee, what does that say? Elf fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The elf fuckers dream. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Taylor, thank you very much. Um, the lovely Leslie Crouch. We've known her for a, quite a while now. She's followed us pretty much since the beginning. And uh, she's been absolutely brilliant. We can't wait to meet you. We'd love to come to Scotland and say hello. Or oh, you come down here indeed, of course. Um, I'd love to thank Becky Holmes. I think she's a new viewer who uh, has had a bit of a laugh of us recently, so that's cool. Um, the Old Hobbit, Steve's Repairs, always got something good to say, Steve. Thank you very much, sir. Um, we've got Mike Dewar. We've got David Mills. David, you're a top bloke, honestly. Thank you for all the nice comments. And, of course, I'd like to make a special thank you to uh, Narrowboat Agincourt, who sent Hector a nice little Valentine's card from Hattie, didn't they, Hector? So that, I mean, seriously, thank you so much for that. It does mean a lot. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to Gary Captain Phillips, who tries to help us push this channel. Fair play to you, fella. Um, I'm sorry I didn't achieve our dreams this uh, in this vlog. You know, I did try so hard. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I did really try so hard, but she ran away and I couldn't get her. Or could I? What have you been up to? Have a look. Ha ha ha, gotcha. I knew if I got the big guns out, I'd get you in the end. What on earth is going on, Paul? I can't believe it. She's bloody reported us for blooming stalking. Go, go, quick, go, get the dog, get the dog. Come on, quickly, hurry up. Flipping heck. Come on, Lee, quick. You've got to do something you haven't done for ages. We need to go up the back entrance. 